think I've seen this one. It was good, man. Music played every role. <laughs> music, music was that. If I if I didn't have or create music, I, I don't know. I don't know where it'd be. You know, it's not like impossible. It's not far fetched because people think you can do it, or people like the music that you make. It just gives you something to look forward to when everything is like super bleak. You know, um, without it, I don't know. I don't know. I'm here in Chicago. Come see me tomorrow at the Empty Bottle. Shout out to Ruby Hornet. We gonna turn up. Peace. How y'all doing, yo? My name is Kemba. I come from the Bronx. I started going to open mics when I was like 17. The way things are done had like changed like twice over when I put out my first project at 19 like the goal was to like get on blogs like <laughs> you know yeah. um, and all of our strategy and all of our like meetings and discussions were like how to do that yeah. and then that changes and then you gotta find like you gotta figure it out again growing up in the open mic scene like the highest form of accomplishment was like people being like oh that line was crazy and so everybody like put out freestyles and like wrapped over other people's beats it wasn't it wasn't like a focus on creating songs and it was a big focus on like being real like real hip-hop real rap and that just kind of gets very limiting and very old you know i'm really thankful for artists that can be um i guess blunt and upfront with like how they're feeling right now i don't really want someone to force anything it's important when artists can be like, let's switch the vibe up. And so with Kemba, we would kind of bounce around different beats um, and sit on one for a while. And then after a while, we just sort of like rallied up at the console, me and him, and I just started making something from scratch. Uh, I'm really weird in particular when I'm like writing to stuff. And so it just wasn't working. And then, and then he started to make something from scratch and it became like a collaborative effort and then like the ideas were flowing. One thing that he was really adamant about liking in his studio sessions is really saving the drums um, and kind of the groove aspects of it for last or later on. He really likes writing to just the melody and then having I guess that space um, to figure out where he can where he wants to go versus where he fits on a beat. Yeah, when I create, I like to take out the drums. I feel like drums can be limiting, like dr drums can dictate flows and melodies, and I just want to be as free as I can when I create, and I feel like if I can make the craziest flows and the craziest melodies freely, we can always put drums in that are dope. Like the drum, drums are gonna be dope regardless, man. They, they're drums. You, you put them in, and it, and it makes the beat better. Uh, but but I don't want to be I don't want to be limited by it. So I think I guess a lot of stuff in my in my life is trying not to be limited. Trying not. To be, yeah. <laughs> tie my hands, tie my feet. Don't come back. Don't save me. Save yourself. You've been warned. I'm no good. If you wrong, don't blame me. Blame yourself. Yeah. Yeah, we could be a million different things to different people. And um, that's kind of like talking to somebody like, if you don't understand that, that that um, that I'm not like squeaky clean, that I am flawed, then, then you might as well. It's like, don't even look back, just keep going, you know? You've been